You're going through a lot right now, and I know you're scared. It's okay to be scared. We're all scared. Heck, I'm even scared of my own shadow. <gasps> Cancer can be scary, especially for kids. It's estimated over 15,000 children are diagnosed with cancer each year in the U.S. Characters from the Imaginary Friends Society help kids deal with the emotional and medical strain of the disease. I hear you've maybe been feeling angry lately too. Well, it's okay to feel that way. These characters were brought to life by the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation and the ad agency RPA. They say the goal is to bring back a sense of normalcy for kids. Ta -da! Hello there, friend. Hi. Hey there. The idea was inspired by several child cancer survivors who say imaginary friends help them through their recovery. They're experiencing pain and, and a lot of parents tell us that kids feel a tremendous amount of anxiety and I think the kids and their parents feel afraid. Kathy Riley is the national director of the Family Support for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation. 70% of people surveyed mention a lack of cancer tools and resources for parents and children. 85% of viewers report feeling less anxious and scared. The videos bring kids into this world where you have these uh, fuzzy, fun, creative friends who are talking about the things that that you are going through in a very fun and entertaining way and it reduces the isolation for the kids and it makes them feel normal. Others say the video can open difficult conversations while the topics are serious ranging from cancer 101, chemotherapy, losing hair, feeling sad and getting an MRI scan. Characters don't lose a sense of humor. MRI stands for magnetic Resonance, imaging, this is just a fancy way of saying picture taking. You can have those like even if it's like the eye twitching, right? like something like that, it's the little details that make it funny in the telling of it, but it doesn't take away from the, the seriousness of it. There's nothing to be afraid of with MRIs. The videos are free to watch online on Imaginary Friends Society's website. They're also on TV and available on mobile devices in children's hospitals around the country. They are also currently being translated into various languages. And the group's work with this concept is far from over. This rabbit character, and we actually started developing a tool where doctors and nurses could actually talk to patients as that character, so that if they wanted to answer some really difficult questions, you know, connect with kids in a, in a more meaningful way that maybe using that motion capture tool, they could do it. Jason Sperling from RPA describes the new project as a Snapchat type of filter or as augmented reality, where he says at its core, it's about communicating to children. Riley says the Imaginary Friends Society videos are this. Is that it's a tool for parents to use. And so it's something we can actually tangibly do for our kids that gives us back a little bit of the power and control that we've lost over our lives. Mom! I wanted to tell you that that I felt a little sad today. Did you see that? So, what's next?